Okay, so ChatGPT has a new version. Let's test it out together. Apparently, this new version from January 30 is an upgrade of the ChatGPT model with improved factuality and mathematical capability. So I want to test that actually. I want to test those math capabilities. So let's click sounds good. And uh, we're going to ask two things. First, a simple math problem and then a data science question. All right, so let's start with the simple math problem. I'm going to start with, hey, can you please give me the math proof that for every integer n, well, 2 at the power of n plus 2 at the power of n equals 2 at the power of n plus 1. All right, I'm very curious what it's going to say. So let's press enter and yes, I can provide you the mathematical proof of the statement. Let's consider an integer n and the equation 2 at the power of n plus 2 at the power of n equals 2 at the power of n plus 1. Using the properties of exponentiation, we can rewrite 2 at the power of n as 2 times 2 at the power of n minus 1. Substituting this to the equation, we get blah, blah, blah. What? Okay. Um... You know, I don't even want to read the proof. I have a much simpler proof. The answer I was expecting is simply that 2 at the power of n plus 2 at the power of n equals 2 times 2 at the power of n, right? And so here 2 is equal to 2 at the power of 1. And so that's 2 at the power of n plus 1. So now I don't know what to say. Like, let's add is simpler. No. Yes, you are correct. That is simpler and more direct way. Thank you for pointing that out. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad to help. All right, so now let's test the other thing. Let's ask a data science question. So I'm going to say first, of course, you're welcome. Now, can you please explain to me gradient descent in machine learning? And let's see how well it explains it and let's see how good the math are going to be so gradient descent is an optimization algorithm commonly used in machine learning to update the parameters of a model in order to minimize a cost function correct the cost function represents the error between the predicted values of the model and the true values correct the main idea behind gradient descent is to iteratively update the parameters of the model okay so yes so that's the explanation but i want to see the math now give me some formulas okay so we have to insist a bit so let's say thanks but can you give me the math of gradient descent. All right, certainly the mathematical formulation of gradient descent is as follows. Given a cost function j, where theta is a vector of parameters, the goal of gradient descent is to find a minimum of this function by iteratively updating the parameters in the direction of the negative gradient of the cost function. All right, so yes, that's indeed the formula of, uh, you know, the update of theta and the gradient of the cost function is a vector that points in the direction of the steepest increase of the cost function, correct? It can be calculated as... Okay, so here you take the gradient, you know, you take the partial derivative of the cost function with respect to the weight. So here the parameters theta1, theta2, theta n are the weights. And what you see here is indeed the gradient of the cost function. And so you compute this gradient and then you update the weights according to this formula by subtracting your previous weight to the learning rate multiplied by this gradient of the cost function with respect to the parameters so as to reduce the loss error between the predicted values of the model and the true values. All right, that was not too bad. That was definitely better than uh, the simple math question. So uh, I guess the conclusion of all this is that uh, we shouldn't ask too simple questions to ChatGPT. It is not ready yet to make the complex simple, but it is quite ready to explain to us complex topics. Follow me here to get more videos. I'll post regularly some ChatGPT videos where we'll ask some simple questions like that. Data science questions mostly, and please like the video so that it can reach the maximum people. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, enjoy ChatGPT.